What's up, Vikes? I'm Allie. I'm Ava, and you're watching SVTV. There's a new petition making headway around our school. Let's see what it's all about. Well, some people will just look better wearing hats. Um, I think I should because I wear my hat at work and stuff like that, so I think I should be able to wear it here too. Uh, I just want to be able to wear my hat in school because it gets sunny sometimes and you can't really see going down the halls. So wearing a hat in school can actually hide your identity and make it harder for the administration to see who you are if you're doing bad things at our school. I mean, if you're having a bad hair day, boom, you just throw the hat on. Yeah, that's 100%. I always bad hair day, bad gone. Hair, so. um, I mean, some people would like to wear hats because they have bad hair and stuff, and, like, it just doesn't work for them. But honestly, I don't think that you'd need to be wearing a hat in the school. You can come to me, and then I think there's four other papers passed around school. Um, find Tyson Doltmeyer. If you want to wear hats in school, Make sure and check out that petition. Now, on to the rest of announcements. Tomorrow is the last day of the Youth Commission Drive to help the homeless Topekans. Please bring your donations to your COP classrooms. There's a list of acceptable items posted on Schoology. This Saturday is Sports Physical Day at Cotton O'Neill. Please bring $20 to their Kansas Park location anytime from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. No appointment is necessary. The Interact Car Show is also this Saturday from 1 to 4 in the South parking lot. See either Mr. Collins or Mrs. Miller for a registration form. The price is $15 in advance and $20 at the door. Viking Crew is looking for new mentors next year. You will be working with freshman students to help connect with the high school. If you are interested, please check your Class Schoology page. Sophomores and Juniors if you are interested in visiting Washington, D.C. next school year, then stop by Mr. Cromie's room. There will also be a meeting during CALP next Thursday with more information. If you purchased a fish fishing license this year, the fishing club will reimburse you. Please bring your license to Mr. Wilson and he will write you a semen bank check for the cost. The Noto Rays swim team is accepting new members to compete in the K Valley League this summer. If you are interested or have any questions, contact information will be posted on Schoology. Enrollment for Driver's Ed is still open. The cost for the program is $175 and will take place during the summer. See Mr. Tinsley if you have any questions. Now over to Haley with weather after this quick commercial break. Are you interested in learning Russian next year? For free? Or maybe even earning three college credits per semester? Join the upcoming KU Slavic webinar on May 4th and see what this class can do for you. Students are even eligible for an introductory lesson on May 11th. Sign up on Schoology now. On Friday, April 30th and Saturday, May 1st this week, Seaman High School Theater will be performing its one-act shows that are student-led at 7 p.m for five dollars. They will be performing the show's Law and Order Fairy Tale Unit, directed by Tanner McNutt, and It's Not Me, It's You, directed by Mary Page Bramlett. Make sure to come out and support our theater department.
Howdy Vikings, I'm Haley Brandstetter. Welcome back to SHS Weather Forecast. For your forecast headline today, it'll be staying in the 70s. It'll be sunny all day, and today is National Shrimp Scampi Day. Uh, at 1 p.m. it's going to be 73, rising to 75 at 3 p.m., and it'll be 76 at 5 p.m. For your weekly forecast, it's going to be staying in the 80s, and it's going to go to the 60s, but we're going to see a rise on Thursday uh, to the 74. Now back to your anchors. Thank you, Haley. SVTV is a big part of our lives for those of us that work the show. Staff member Savannah has some more information on her time here in the studio. I've been a part of SVTV for two years and a semester. The different aspects of SVTV would be shooting the show, making your stories, having them in on time, um, editing, um, sometimes anchoring if that's what you like to do, and moving around the camera. I help in the back room, I sh make stories, and uh, my favorite thing to do is anchor. <laughs> The studio is located by the library. You should join SVTV because it's really just like a fun experience and I didn't know that I wanted to do something in this industry until I got into SVTV and um, really enjoyed it and really knew this is something I wanted to pursue. So if you are even questioning anything in this industry, I definitely recommend joining. Um, SVTV and the journalism classes here. Shout out to Savannah for all she does around here. And if you're interested in joining our broadcast family, make sure to enroll in journalism for next year. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Have a great rest of your day.